Good morning, this is Angela with Park Rose Permaculture. It is the 1st of June, a beautiful sunny morning. The song sparrows are singing. I had hoped to talk to you about, or I had planned to talk to you all about a different plant this morning, but it's so sunny out and the bees are just out all over this plant. So I wanted to take a little detour and talk about this beautiful, beautiful plant in front of me. This is Stachys Byzantia, lamb's ear, which is a really common garden plant, but it has a useful place in a cottage garden, in any hot, dry, water-saving, zero-scaping garden, and it has a place in permaculture. So this plant is one of usually kids' favorites. Um, I remember I loved it as a child. I'm going to come in here without disturbing the bees. It's grown for its soft, velvety leaves. Again, it's called lamb's ear because the leaves feel like a lamb's ear. Any plant that has this kind of soft, furry covering has got that to reduce water loss. So you know that it's a plant that thrives on full sun and dry conditions. Lamb's ear is a great pollinator for early to mid-June. If you are looking for a plant that is going to bring in the bees and the hoverflies, this is a plant for you. So let's talk about growing it. I have one lamb's ear in my garden and that is more than enough. I'm sitting in the middle of it right now and it is five and a half feet across and four and a half feet wide the other way grows two and a half feet tall so this plant like we said fuzzy leaves gray foliage gray foliage is an indicator of needing a hot dry location this plant thrives in a sunny spot in your garden with no water and poor soil. It's up here with my lavenders and my rosemary in sort of a Mediterranean climate. It's full sun, rocky soil. Don't water this ever. Never, never water it. So when you're growing stachys, um, oh, also it brings in the butterflies. Butterflies like this plant as well. When you're growing stachys, the things to watch out for are overhead watering or watering in general in the Pacific Northwest. If you water this plant, you are asking for fungal problems. Leaf spot um, in particular, it just does not want to be watered. So which is great. It's great for a low effort plant. You can plant it and neglect it. Don't need to fertilize it. Don't need to water it. If you do those things, you're asking for disease. So I'm going to pan over here and see if we can get some of these hoverflies, these wasp mimic hoverflies, which are just really loving this plant right now. It blooms in these lovely spires here, and I love the contrast of the kind of purpley pink flowers against the silver foliage. This plant as soon as it is done blooming, I cut it all the way back and it makes a lot of biomass. Really strong stems. Oh, so this plant is in the Lamiaceae family, which means it's in the mint family. And one of the ways you can tell if something is in the mint family is if it has a square stem. And it has a very square stem. Um, so I cut it all the way back and I use this as mulch. Great mulch plant. For one plant, I get all of this for mulch, and then it will regrow. So lamb's ear has a habit of spreading in a way that can be untidy and people don't like it, so I don't want to let it go to seed, and I want to keep on top of it. Once I am done cutting it back, I will pull up part of the plant. Let me reach into the middle of it here. If you reach into the middle of the plant, this plant is really easy to propagate vegetatively. You just reach in and pull up a section and there will be roots. So it's easy to share with your friends or to start new ones. This, I would cut back all the leaves except for the one in the middle and stick that in the ground and it will grow. As long as I give it sun, good drainage, slightly alkaline soil. So you can put a little bit of wood ash in. 
and don't water it, it will thrive. So in permaculture, this plant is obviously an insectary plant, obviously a mulch plant, and it has medicinal uses. It's traditionally used to treat all kinds of neurological issues. I don't use it for that. I have a lot of herbs that I grow that I don't use them for their medicinal purposes because I'm not trained in that way. But for me, as a beekeeper and an avid lover of pollinators and um, trying to support our threatened insect populations, I am constantly planting a diversity of flowering plants. So when you give pollinators a diversity of plants, they do much better. They will need to eat all year round. So I want to plant things that are blooming from February when my rosemary blooms all the way into November. So this is a great one for early June in the Pacific Northwest is when lamb's ear blooms. If you cut it back, if you cut it back hard after it blooms, you may get a secondary bloom on it. So again, that's lamb's ear. Worth a spot in your permaculture garden as an insectary plant, worth a spot as a mulch plant worth a spot in your garden for the beauty of it make sure you go ahead and pull it up vigorously to control the size and you don't let it throw babies off everywhere and you don't overwater it and you will have a great addition to your garden thanks for watching this video i'll be back with some more herbs june is really a month when the herbs are going gangbusters in my garden and i will have a lot of updates on them. Thanks.